What's up, YouTube? It is Epic Games TV, and we are back for another episode. So we have some work to do. I went out, moved a lot of stuff, went looking for some Drigmies. We've got a couple of charms now. So we're going to take care of that. So today we want to work on our little mob farm and we want to work on the colony. And I have slowly moved stuff over. So I'll show you guys what we've done so far. Now, here's our little block. I'm thinking this is where we're going to put the Drigme. I still have to make the charm to uh, activate that, but I think that's what we're going to do with it. Now, our chicken keeps spitting out eggs. So I think also we may want to get uh, an alley in a jar, which acts as a vacuum hopper. But uh, we put up all these bookshelves. I killed all those cows. I still kind of feel bad about it. And then I used chip. I should probably switch to that. I used chip to uh, make a couple of these, like this one here, and that's still the same. Okay, like this one here with the, like, the little chest. These are done and chipped. So I basically added a few of those just to spice it up a little bit more. And so this is where we're going to have, for now at least, our apotheosis where we're going to do our salvaging. The stuff that I brought over from the beach is now sitting in here. And our reforging. And I got a couple more apotheosis things to put over here. And then over here was our lantern maker. This is where we made the lantern. And then our enchanting area, except for the two... Um, Wither skulls, I basically put them into the vault because we're going to use them. But we're sitting here. This is all up and running again. I've hidden a couple pieces of glowstone underneath here. But we've kind of made it look a little nicer. Well, I think so. Made more jars because these guys were just hanging out doing nothing. I also colored them. Now, what I'd like to do is I got three colors, a red one, a blue one, and a green one. And I know that there's a couple of little kids that are the sons of one of my viewers who love watching these videos. I want to let them pick which color, and I'm going to name these guys. Let's see, can we name them? Let's go first. Before we even find out, we better make sure that we can name them. Do I have any... What do they call them again? There we go. So let's grab these name tags. And then I knew I brought some iron over here. Let's just quickly see if we can name them. This over here, and we're gonna go put one of those we're going to call it name test. And if I can name them, then what I'll do is I'll name them after his sons. And they will permanently be part. Okay, you red guy. Oh, uh, Spino. Okay, the blue guy. Oh, yeah. So we can name them. So there you go. If you're watching this video with your dad or your mom, you tell me which color between the two of you guys, which one you guys like. And uh, I will name one of these star bunkos after each of you. And then the other one, this one here, because red is my son's favorite color. I might just name that after my son. So hopefully blue or green. I'm not sure if I can change them other colors. And if you guys both like the same color, that's fine. We can do the same color. But that's my special gift to you. And if everybody that's watching this is wondering who I'm talking about, the Questing Dad, who I play Lord of the Rings online with, part of the kin, all that kind of stuff, really nice family. Uh, they keep telling me how their sons love watching these videos. So I kind of want to do something nice for his kids. I think it would be really cool. I've never met them. So, you know, they live way down. I think it's Florida. 
I live up in Canada. But uh, the fact that they have watched basically every single episode front to from the beginning to the end and all that stuff. And they've even gone back and looked at some old videos. I think it'd be kind of cool to, to do that for them. So, but I'm not telling them that I'm going to do this for them. They are going to have to watch this video. And then their dad will message me and let me know. And we'll do that for them. So that is a test. I will know how long it takes them to be able to watch this video. So we'll do that. I think that'd be really cool. Okay, so, and then we need to work on the colony. Now, I know I need some more storage. I'm not sure. Did I leave it in this bag here? Uh-oh, I'm not sure what I did. I made some, oh, maybe I put it in this backpack. There we go. I made some residents and we should have... Here's all our chip stuff. We should also have the die hut. So we're going to place those also. I'll need that. And then this is all I got for Drigmies. So let's go look at, since we're over here, let's go look what we need to do for the Drigme charm. So this is the Drigme charm. So I need three source gems, a fish, wheat, apple, carrot, seed. Okay, I think we should be able to do that. So I don't know if I have any source gems in here. Source gems, I got four. Oh, we're so lucky. We can make one. We need wheat. Okay, so I only need one wheat. So let's just take one. And then we need an apple. Only need one apple. Let's clear that too. And then we needed a fish. And it said we could use any fish. I wonder if we could use this tropical fish. We'll see. Um, so we needed three of those. I feel like I am missing something. Let's go take a look again. What are we missing? A carrot. Oh, and any type of seed it looks like. We need a carrot and a seed. We got lots of carrots. Do we have any seeds in here? Okay, some of these seeds I don't want to use, but we'll use one of these seeds. Okay, so that's all the stuff that we need to make the charm. So let's go make our lovely charm. Okay, so let's put this up here. And we'll move all our stuff here that we need to use to actually craft it right there. And we'll need one of those. So we're going to start off with the three of those. And then our wheat, our apple. Hopefully that fish works. And then over there. And here we go, our drink me token. And it works. Perfect. So much fun to play with magic. Okay, so there is our Drink Me Charm. Woohoo! Moose Dance. Okay, now in order for him, we need to make him a home. And you need a mossy cobblestone. And we have tons of that around, so that was pretty easy for us to get. And you just click on there. And look at that magic. It's going to convert it. Now, I believe he has to put this into a chest. So, for now, let's just go get a chest. I think I should have some chests in here. Let's grab a chest. He looks really happy. He's doing the little dance. So I don't know how long it takes him to uh, to gather stuff, but we'll come back to this later and we'll see what kind of stuff I'm hoping he's gonna get me some 
skulls from these guys, but we'll see. And some ender pearls, because we need some ender pearls. We'll let him do his thing. He's got some source. We got uh, basically two. And then when those get used up, we're still making more source over here. We'll just replace the jars. I will have to um, get relays. That's a thing that we can do where we can relay source all the way down to those jars. And then I also need to make one more table. So we have a scribe table and then we have an, I think it's an enchanting table or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. We're going to put the other table right here. But this is the start of our little magic wing. It's pretty cool. We still have upstairs that we can do some stuff. But I think for now, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the colony. We're going to check out because I told you guys last episode, and I'm bad. I'm sorry, that we we're going to go check out because the uh, colony upgraded while we were recording. And we never went back there. So we're going to go ahead back there. I really like the color of these star bunkles. I think they're so cool. The other thing is uh, we got one Wixie charm that we got. And I believe we can do some automatic potion crafting. So I think that's another thing that we should be looking at in the future in another episode. But for now, let's go home and let's go see our new colony town hall are you guys ready for this i'm ready for this okay so let's go here we are all nice and white we got some uh little hints of yellow striping in here our little cook area i don't know it's kind of like a temporary wall for the future i wonder if they're going to build an aquarium here you're going to put all this glass in here. I I wonder. Possibly, right? And then over here, they replaced... Oh, we're going to have to go find our old man, Shorty. He replaced the table. So it looks like... It also changed the color of some of our seating areas. Because I thought we had some that were red. Oh, and I think this table got bigger. Oh, look at the stairs. I feel like it missed a spot. I really do. I think it missed a spot right there. So, uh, Mixasa, you can let me know for sure if maybe that's the way you designed it. Because I noticed it over here, too, that you have, like, one piece missing. I don't know. Okay, we'll leave it the way it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is more to this in the next upgrade, and I'm just not seeing it completely. Because maybe there's like a little pillar that comes down here, it comes down there. So we're not going to give them a hard time. We're just going to uh, wait and see. We will have to get to tier five. Oh, interesting. Put a stair there. Ah, so that's what you did with the respawn anchor. Okay. If you guys haven't seen, oh, why is there construction tape? Hey, I, I kind of like how they did this, how he's going to incorporate. This was our very first structure of our town hall was this little floating capsule. Now he has enclosed it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And by the way, netherite scrap and seashell, and we got lots of this stuff, the glowing squid stuff, in case you guys are wondering what those were. I see, I see. Oh, we, did we lose our... <sighs> One of our airships that we had sitting. Oh, no, I moved it. That's right. I moved the airship over there. I forgot about that. Very interesting. Very cool build. We got one more level of this to make to a tier five, but we can't do anything tier five. 
until we go to the end. And that's going to be coming up soon. I'm hoping the Drigme will get me some more uh, Ender Pearls. Now, we could go, obviously, go hunting Ender Pearls. It doesn't take me long to get a bunch of them. But we have so much else on the go. Okay, so. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I didn't realize that they were going to change out the glass, though, up here. But having all that concrete gone. Oh, and you you blocked my, my stairwell. You blocked my stairwell, sir. Here I thought they weren't doing any work to the inside. Okay, let's see if we still can salvage this. I'll go here, I think. So we're going to have to just replace the stair on the one piece, I think. And I don't have any white concrete stairs handy. So I'm going to just take those two pieces temporarily. And we'll go, boop, boop, whoops. Because I also want to go down here and start the build of this structure down here. Now, I built the walkway. We are now connected over here, which is really cool. And this will help give us a good view of what's to come with this future upgrade and this big player building submarine. It's essentially going to become my player house at the colony. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna upgrade it. What are we gonna need? 978 white concrete, 110 blue concrete. Um, oh, a lot more concrete. Okay, but we should be able to do this. Like we can make concrete so quickly, thanks to create. So let's do build building. And let's get that started. And hopefully they will upgrade this uh, little hallway in this update. And we'll have that going. Now let's go down here, take a look at, oh, see, I'm, I'm hungry again. I'm not me. Man, did I ever get a lot of chicken from when we killed those cows? Well, sorry, not chicken from the cows, but... When we went over there to uh, kill the chickens and the cows and stuff. I'm going to go down here. Now, I do kind of think I'm going to expand out this way a little bit. I got to put some housing down here. Oh, and we moved. We moved our. Uh, I forgot what they call it again. But we moved it here. It's right there. So we have one there and then I've built a second one and it's on the other end. Because originally I had it somewhere over one of the buildings. Okay, so I need to add some residents. Now we could look at adding residents off of here. I want to do a whole row of them. And we can't do it there. Did I ever finish this? Oh, we didn't finish it. Okay, let's let's clear this out. I forgot to clear this out. Give me a sec here. Let's clear this out. This is our other hallway. I still got to put some lighting in here. Okay. So that's all cleared out. Um, we might be able to come down. Well, that's a residence right there. So we might be able to go there. Uh, Carpet made from kelp. 1,900 basically. Oh my goodness. Couch isn't too bad, though. That's pretty reasonable. It's on sale, 30% off. Okay. 
Okay. I think he's trying to make some money from the carpet, though. Like, I'm just saying. And then we also have a section over here. Now, the idea was to extend these another one. So we'd have a total of nine residents. But we're going to go back up top. And we're going to figure out from the water, I guess, where we're going to bring these, these residences. And this die hut. Let's bring this down because we're going to need this now. We still have our little escape hatch over here. Man, this is starting to look so cool. Oh, we're going to have to upgrade that. It's going to get to the point where we can't have any stone look. It's got to be all, all looking like this. And I forgot that we also upgraded the warehouse to a tier four. So this is all upgraded. And did I actually upgrade the courier hut? No, we haven't upgraded the courier hut yet. So we do need to upgrade these buildings eventually to tier four. Okay, so we have the fishermen there. We could just add a couple of little residential areas here and there. Yeah, I don't want to really add them on this upper spot. I think I want to put one down here. So why don't we put our first residential? Um, I think we'll do a dormitory. That way, if we want to expand on this one anyways, if we want to expand out. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to fundamental. We're going to pick uh, residence. We're going to pick dormitory. And push it out, spin it once, and then, yeah, I think, I think we'll do it like something like right there. I just got to make sure we're not going to interfere with this building here. Okay, so it definitely has to go over to there. Now, the nice thing with the dormitory is there's another exit on the other side. So why don't we just completely line it up? Three by three, three by three, that looks good. Yeah, I think we got perfect, uh, perfect spot for that. Okay, so let's get this going. And then we'll swim over here. Build option, build building. So there's one resident. We've got a couple more that I'd like to place. Now, our massive nether portal is slowly being built over here. This is so we can send our submarine, which I have no idea how it floats over there. Maybe it just floats in the lava. But it's going to use this nether portal. Now, I don't want to wreck the look of this. So maybe we'll put a resident somewhere else. We could look. We could look at putting one over here. But I, I might need this space there. Okay, how about... Hmm, figuring out where to put some extra residents. We could go one more down over here and do a line of them. We can look at that. Just have four of them come down. So we'll go here, we'll go fundamental, residence, dormitory. And this is completely... Let's quickly push this out. Now, the idea would be, I guess, 
line it up with the uh, ones above it. So it's going to have to come down. Okay, so that's even. And it needs to come one this way. Okay, I don't think we're going to interfere with anything over there. Yeah, I think we're okay. It just looks like it's off by one, but maybe that's because... Okay, it looks like it needs to go one more that way. Oh, you know what we could do? We could go like this to the tier four, like right above it. And use that as a guideline. I think that's all lined up. What do you guys think? Okay, so that means I'm going to have to build an entryway like right off of here, which is fine. Okay, let's go back to tier one. Let's go accept. And then where did we, where does it put the box? There's the box. And then we're going to go over here, build option, build building. And then we're going to do one more. So we're only going to have three go up. And we're going to try to upgrade them as fast as we can. So the other one we kind of want off of this. Can we, oh, there we go. Fundamental, residence, dormitory. We'll do the same thing. We'll make it the uh, tier four so we can use the above. Does it need to come down by one? No, it was fine right there. But it does definitely have to come back this way. And we kind of want them to go side by side. So I think that's perfect for this one. So we're basically just expanding our dormitories down a little further. And we will probably have enough room to put one more row of these guys. And it'll just be a whole wall of dormitories. I think that's going to be kind of interesting. The only problem I'm going to have is this little entryway over here. So maybe we'll just leave it. Maybe we'll just do these ones and that's it. Okay, let's go back to level one. And um, we'll hit accept. Now, the problem I also have is I don't want them to build that one just quite yet. We've got to get this die hut up. And I know that they can hammer out those level ones pretty easily so let's get this die hut up and i'm not sure what we need for the die hut but we're gonna go over here and i think we're gonna look at something right over here now i'm gonna guess it's under craftsman maybe luxury there you go dyer's hut Push this a little back. Not very big. And it doesn't look like there's anything that needs to come out of the water. So we could probably just push this one right up next over here. Oh, you got some windows there, right? You know, we could. Okay. We could take out his windows and actually. I don't know if he's going to appreciate the fact that he lost his windows. But I'm thinking we could almost just connect his windows to here. Will it fit? Uh, may not fit. If I push this one more over, we could, oh, we might be able to. 
we're going to see. If it stays there, that would be lined up there. We could almost just... Oh, yeah, but you're going to be walking into a pool. Okay, never mind. Let's not do that. Let's do it the other way, then. Let's flip it. Bring it back in. Give it our one space like we normally do. And then it can be windows looking into windows. And then they got a little view outwards. That's good. And then I have a little doorway here if we want to connect to another building. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Okay, let's set this up to build. Just make sure my height is good. Nothing else is going to interfere with it. Okay. So we're going to go like this. Like that. And then let's get... this thing up on right away build option build building okay so we've got two residents and the dyer's hut up and running well not up and running but plan for expansion okay let's get back inside dry off a little bit Amethyst golems will harvest and grow and collect amethyst near its home to obtain amethyst golem perform the ritual of awakening near Finding Amsis to obtain the Amsis Golem charm. Okay, so let's go. Let's go home. Okay. Now we should be done. We need to put. Oh, uh, you can go right there. And then you can go in there. And then you need an open hand to activate it. Whoops. And it should convert some of these. I'm hoping. It didn't convert any of them. Oh, no. Did I make the wrong one? Tablet used for rituals, consumed on use, awakens nearby archwood trees into budding amethyst into amethyst golems. Does it not work on these type though? <gasps> oh, he's right there. Oh, it did work. And we didn't lose the bud. Um, sir? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, we'll take this. Now, if we kill it. Oh, it gave us a charm right there. Okay, did it make any more? It didn't make any more. Oh, too bad. Okay, let's make one more. These guys are kind of cool looking. There you are. Okay, so we have two now. That's so cool. And I'm kind of hoping that if I were to harvest a bunch of these. That it would convert these. Okay, so let's take this out. So that's. Let's go back, uh, let's go to spawn. And we're gonna go check uh, our mine shaft because I think we have one in our mine shaft. This one's actually quite big. Okay, so we got enough of these. 
Let's get the ritual down real quick. Oh, Wither Skeleton Skull. Now that makes three of them. Okay, and that can go up there for now. Ritual of Awakening are here. And Ritual Brazer is here. Let's try to get two of these. can't tell which one he might have converted. Does anybody see one here? Shulker shell. I am not seeing um, a little cold dude. <gasps> there he is. There he is. We found him. Okay, we got one more to go. is right there so that's kind of cool it's not the amethyst one that we wanted but hey we got a coal and a diamond let's go back home now i'm going to just run back to the mansion and i think what we'll do is we'll do this upstairs Let's try. Do we want to give them their own room? Which one's kind of empty? Is anything kind of empty up here? This one's kind of empty. Let me have my axe. We're just going to clear this out really quickly here. Okay, so I'm guessing that if I were to put some like that, and I took one of these dudes, he may convert. Uh, I think they need source too, though. So let's put a jar up here. We'll see if he converts it. And then we'll do a diamond one over on this other side. We probably need a chest. Well, we'll go back down and grab the chest, but let's go see if we can get the diamond one going. Here's a diamond. And here's a couple blocks. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just do, what is that? A little corner like this. And put the diamond one up here. And we'll see if these dudes can convert the uh, the blocks into budding. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Let's put 
another one in the corner there because why not and you sir if i could just move you a little bit away from the corner excuse me excuse me put you right there and i'm going to open this up a bit this will also help get some more light in here and we need to go down and get a chest Okay, I think that's pretty good. If this works, um, we'll do more up here. But for now, for now we're just going to leave it. It may take time to convert it. Yeah, I think that's going to be awesome. I like that. We probably want that more like that. I'm kind of wondering if I should just put one of these. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go get them in chest. Because I would imagine they gotta they gotta collect. Oh, is there a hole right here? Oh, there's a hole right there. Fix that. You know what? Let's do a double chest. Because you never know. Run back up here. And this is nice and close. So that's cool. And then I'm just going to put it right there. And if they can convert those, awesome. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll call that an episode. I think that's a lot. I think uh, I'm trying to keep these to like 30 minutes. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Give you a little wave over there and we'll do our little ultra secret backflip. And uh, we're going to keep this nice and short. So I'm Epic Games TV and I'm out of here. Take care, folks. Thanks again for watching.